Hi, this is Bruce, and this is the third installment of using the HTML5 Geolocation API along with the Google Maps uh, API. Um, so in the first part, we created a geolocation page where when we click on the button, um, it goes and gets our position and then uh, displays the coordinates on the page. And you can see for whatever reason today there's a, a bit of a lag. Um, but there is our latitude and long longitude, or longitude if you prefer. Um, then in the second part, we created a, uh, a map. Um, so we're getting the our location, getting the coordinates for our latitude and longitude, then creating a map and centering it on our location, and then adding a marker to that location. Um, and if we roll over it here, it should say, you are here. Third part, and what we're going to do now, is create a, a map that allows us to get directions from our location, um, anywhere, no matter where we are, to some other fixed location um, in, on, on the map. Um, so we'll head back here. Uh, you can see I've got a, the section here for the geolocation page that essentially does get current position um, and then does the calls the show position function which displays our latitude and longitude on the page. Got a second one here, um, second section here for the map page that does some starts off doing some of the first stuff, so gets the current position, gets our latitude and longitude, also creates a new um, lat, lat long or latitude longitude uh, variable that combines the two into one, makes it a little bit easier to refer to. Um, after that, we uh, do the get map function, which creates the map using the map options that we've defined above, Excuse me. That, so that displays the map and centers it on our latitude and longitude. Um, and then adds a marker to the map at that same latitude longitude longitude that we, uh, we've we gotten in the first part. So now what we want to do is create the uh, create a map that gives us some directions. So let's start off by adding a A div to our page. We'll call it Directions Canvas. And then, like we did for the map canvas, we'll make sure that we also include a height. And I'll simplify this a little bit. By adding the map page and the directions page to give the all these elements some height, 100% to be exact. And we'll upload that. OK. And let's create a an area for the directions page. And get going. So first thing we'll do is we'll create we'll copy this. So on page init for the directions page, it will call get directions location. Okay, and so we'll start off like that. Now let's flip back over to um, uh, my home page. We'll click on the exam my the example, and um, we can we could go in the th in to find the directions service for Google Maps through here. But I've got a direct link right here, and there there we can see um, we're in we're in the developer's guide. Um, under services, under directions, and with all the uh, description of the uh, how to use it, the options, um, some sample coding, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
um, and we'll come down here to where they've got kind of a, a full example of the code. So we'll just copy that. Um, and then we should be good. And we'll paste that here. So we've, we're creating some variables. So the directions display, then the direction service, uh, and map, we'll call this, we'll call this directions map directions map so that we don't have a conflict with the other one obviously instead of map canvas it's going to be directions canvas we're going to add the the we're going to set the map on the directions map Okay, they're getting the start and end by using some form elements in um, the HTML. So we're going to get rid of those. And really what we want to do is get our present location and sub substitute that in here. So we don't want to go to Chicago. Um, we want to go, we want, sorry, we, we don't want to start In Chicago we want to start where we are okay okay so let's go up here and do the grab these so that we can get our location when this page loads Okay, so I'm just updating things and making sure that uh, we don't have any conflict. Um, so let's see where I'm at here. Uh, so on when we do, when, when, when the directions page inits or when it initializes, then we're going to call the get directions location. So we're going to go up here, get directions location. Um, and then we're going to get the current location. And then we're going to go and then we're going to call the show directions position. If there's an error, obviously it's, it will say geolocation is not supported, and that will appear in the directions canvas element um, on the page, in the div on the page. Um, show directions positions, so we've got those lined up, and the position here we can use that. We're just passing that. Um, so I've got the directions. Directions latitude. So I'll select that and do Control D to also select the other one, and then directions longitude or longitude if you prefer, and you can see that's updated uh, here as well. And then we'll call this one. No, I don't want to go up there. And then we'll call instead of my lat long, we'll call it um, directions lat long. Okay. 
So then we want to get directions. So we'll change the initialize to get directions. So we've got our position. Then we're going to uh, create that uh, directions uh, map. Um, and we're going to set the lat long to directions lat long. And we'll create the we'll uh, create the variable start and put it outside of the function in order that we don't have a problem with the scope. So we're setting the start point to this directions that long. We're going to set the end point ah, equals. Um, let's do fifty. Oh, you know what? I should let me go grab a, a place. So Google Maps. And do 50 St. Catherine Street West. And we'll copy this. So we know we have the uh, the formatting of the address the way Google likes it. And again, this will be a minor miracle if this works. So refresh. And we're, there's a problem with Chicago. So let's go back and see where I've got Chicago Center Start. I noticed that I've got this directions lat long thing here. Um, where I'm creating the, uh, the 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 combined latitude longitude, and then I've got it again here, where I'm creating it, but I've already created it. So I'm going to get rid of this, and then obviously I can just set directly the the start to be the that combined uh, latitude longitude that I've already created above up here. Um, so if I save that and upload it, and then you can see it's giving me my um, my directions. Let's get rid of that. And so from my location here over to 50 St. Catherine um, and using a travel mode of driving. If we wanted to, we could change our travel mode to transit and then instead of giving us the driving directions it should give us the directions by public transit and there you go so it's giving us uh, directions by using the uh, the metro um, and then finishing up by walking I hope this helps.